deep beats and a succulent motion. Like a diamond catching the height when I close my eyes. Spellbinding with my soul, it touched me. It touched me more than once. Where the river builds, the gentle waves of ruchi moments. Yes, it is my river. Yes, it is my river, my Luit. My Luit, so called Brahmaputra. And it flows. And it flows forever and ever. The Brahmaputra is a major river system of the world that extends over a drainage area of 5,80,000 square kilometer. The eastern Himalayan watershed of the Brahmaputra, including its valley in Assam, constitutes an extremely unstable seismic region. The geological and tectonic frameworks of the region has a considerable impact on the hydrologic as well as the fluvial geomographic rim of the river and its host of tributaries. Besides, there are many static water bodies strewn all over the floodplain. The Brahmaputra Valley and its adjoining highlands comprise one of the most active seismic regions of the world. Earthquakes are rather frequent in this region and earthquakes of 1897 and 1950 each of the richer magnitude 8.7 are among the most severe ones recorded in history the valley had experienced more than 11 major earthquakes of magnitude 7.0 or above since 1897 An earthquake of 7.1 on the richer scale rattled the valley at 5.15 p.m. on Saturday, June 12, 1897. The shook lasted for about three minutes. 1542 lives were lost. Mr. F. Smith of Geological Survey of India, who was stationed in Shillong at that time, opined that the earthquake was so violent that the whole of the damage was done in the first 10 to 15 seconds of the shock. An eyewitness to this event wrote, the earthquake before this was not uncommon, but they had never been to known or any previous occasion to cause widespread destruction. It extended over a tract of nearly 1500 miles in length and 1000 in the width or about 12 like 75,000 square miles. The area over which the shook were destructive is believed to be unique and the focus from which it related was neighboring of Shillong. 
One British civil surgeon of Gualpara, Mr. E. F. Dobson, reported seeing the water rise about 12 feet in two minutes. The earthquake left an area of 150,000 square miles in ruins and was left over one quarter million square miles from the western Burmese border to almost near New Delhi. In the year 1950, another earthquake of 8.6 magnitudes near Rima, Tibet, zolted the Brahmaputra Valley again. The massive earthquake took the lives of around 1,500 people in Assam. It is counted amongst the 10 largest earthquakes of the 20th century. The topography of the region changed and the river rose high. One of the tributaries of the Brahmaputra, the river Suban city, experienced 7 meters high waves. Massive inundation submerged several villages. The ground cracked, bridges collapsed and railway lines were destroyed. Riverbed silted up. Viewers, we are at the Hodia Park Hut, where four rivers merge together to form the mighty Baraputra. From Arunachal Pradesh, we have the Kundal River, and then we have the Lohit River. And when we go far behind, we have another two rivers merging, which is the Dibang and the Siang, Siang. making it the mighty Brahmaputra. Also, we have with us Mr. Bogen Gogoi. He is going to guide us through the old Hodia town, right, right. sir? Details about the, the history details about, about the old the... Hodia town. Sir, एक बार बताएंगे आप मतलब जितना हमें सुनने को आया है जैसे कि चार नदियां तो यहां पे मर्ज हो रही है एक साथ मिल रही है और हमने हमें जितना पता है कि आगे ओल्ड टाउन जो था था मतलब अभी जो भी है सब कुछ पानी के अंदर है मैंने सुना है वहां पे एयरपोर्ट भी था और रेलवे स्टेशन भी था हां जी तो ये कैसे हुआ कब हुआ था 1950s आई गेस राइट यस ये 1950 में जो बड़ा सा ये सारा वो ब्रिटिश ने जो सोडिया पुराना सोडिया टाउन जो सेकंड सिलोंग जैसे बनाया था वो शहर वो टाउन 1950 का बाद 1951 में बड़ा सा फट आया मतलब भूकंप के बाद फिर से फट आया भूकंप के बाद में 51 में फट आया बड़ा फट आया फट के बाद फिर वो क्या बोलता है 52 में फिर इरोसन हुआ है तो उसके बाद पूरा सारा टाउन वो अंदर चला गया वो खत्म हो गया वो यहां में वो पुराना जितना भी ये था वो बड़ा-बड़ा बिल्डिंग वो घर घर भी थे लोगों के लोगों के घर थे वो रेलवे लाइन थी और इसमें एयरपोर्ट थी और वो आसाम रेपल का बड़ा केम थे सारा की सारा पानी में डूब गया है Due to so, natural calamities, yes. uh, 1950 they had an earthquake, 1951 was a massive Most flood, flood yeah. and later on there was, uh, during 1952 there was a solid erosion which led to the old Hadia town submerged into the Brahmaputra. But still, uh, it is, uh, Jesse Bola, still it is said by many that if we have proper dry, uh, divers diving into the Brahmaputra, they may still find remnants of the old Hodia town. Yes, that is something which is possible hmm. if someone does it, but that is something which nobody has done it, I'm sure, I guess. Yeah. yeah but that's a fascinating history, amazing. I mean, one city that is in the water, Due to flood, due to uh, soil erosion, and due to uh, earthquake. earthquake. Actually, nature take it back. Uh, took it completely inside her. The earthquake occurred at 7.39 p.m. on August 15 and was felt throughout the northeast of India besides Bangladesh, Bhutan, and Myanmar. Damage occurred in the entire region as far as Kolkata. The devastation in Upper Assam, Abor Hills and the Mishimi Hills were horrible. In the Upper Assam, Dibrukar and Saikwaghat were among the worst affected areas. 600 deaths were recorded from Lakhimpur and Sipsagar district alone. In the Abor Hills, 70 villages were destroyed. 
These earthquakes caused extensive changes in the course and configuration of the river. These earthquakes caused permanent damage to the river Brahmaputra as the bottom of the river risen up and a series of annual flooding had started in the valley. The earthquakes broke the entire river system of the valley. Not only the earthquakes, the river Brahmaputra had also witnessed the two great wars of human history. The First World War began in the year 1914. England was at the forefront. The importance of the river as a strategic route for British Indian Army was rediscovered. It was the main conduit for sending military troops to this region. The river was also used as a major commercial route as a road communication during that period was very poor. In September 1st, 1939, German began its Poland campaign. With this, the deadliest conflict in the human history started. That was the beginning of the Second World War. In Asia, Japan confronted with the British and the United States. The Japanese force entered Burma and cut the main supply route. It was the point when the Brahmaputra Valley and especially the river drew the attention of the world powers. The fate of the Burma campaign of the Allies was totally depending on the supplies on the other aids through this valley. This zone was designated as the CBI theater. Due to the Japanese resistance, supplies had to be moved 2,100 to 3,000 miles to a sun. In those days, there were no bridges over the river. Ports at the Brahmaputra Valley were limited. The poor infrastructural capacity made them unfit to handle war traffic. The conditions of the road were also fatal. The transportation system leading from Calcutta into Assam called Assam Line of Communication LOC was described by an army logistician in the war department as most fascinating and complex problem we have in the world. But there was no alternative. The United States had to provide uninterrupting supply to their forces stationed at China at any cost. Hence they decided to use all the resources available. The Brahmaputra River route now became one of the busiest inland water routes in the country. The Americans extensively used the meter gauge portion of the Bengal and Assam Railway from Bengal to Lido. For this purpose, a military railway service MRS was approved between Qatar and Lido. The Bengal and Assam Railroad 
was the main carrier during the war. It was the only hope to the Allies. The rail wagons were moved from Brahmaputra River where they have ferried across and then crossed to Tinsukia and then travel over short meter gauge Dibru Sadia Railroad to Lido. The railroads were supplemented by steamers which hauled supplies approximately 1,100 miles up the Brahmaputra from Kolkata to Dibrugarh. The steamers on the river were also supplementing the railways. The river and the rail systems were closely intertwined. Small ports like Dhuburi, Nemati, Dibrugarh, Pandu all suddenly drew the attention of the war machinery. Another problem was that there was no all-weather through highway from Kolkata to Assam. The army drew their trucks through the motor road from Bongaigaon to Jogikopa. From this point, vehicle could be ferried across the Brahmaputra and then proceed over the Assam trunk road to Shabua and Lido. The waterways of the Brahmaputra were of vital importance to the military which was then engaged in expanding construction and airlift operations in Assam and was about to launch a campaign in North Burma. Then in October 1942, the US Army assumed responsibility for construction of the Lido Road. In China, the US Army was almost totally dependent, initially on the Chinese land transportation. The construction of the Lido Road started in the year 1942. It took 15,000 soldiers to complete the road in three years. More than 1,100 soldiers died during the construction. Finally, the road was open for transportation in the year 1945. This eased the transportation process and activities. The first convoy from Assam through the Lido Road reached the Chinese frontier on January 28, 1945. This road was named Stillwell Road as it was constructed under the command of American General Stillwell. He was the commander of the 5th and the 6th Chinese Army Divisions. Deliveries through air were also in good progress. British Prime Minister Churchill called the project as an immense laborious task. Before the construction of the Lido Road for the Allied forces, the only alternative to supply China was via the air route. For this purpose, the Air Force has spotted two locations at the Upper Assam, Sabua and Dinjan. Dinjan is a small township. An airfield at Dinjan was constructed to meet up the cargo traffic during the war. It was a central landing ground for the US plane C-47, a cargo version of the famous Dakota series. This airfield was transporting cargoes from Upper Assam to Kunming in South China. The US Army also constructed another airfield at Lido, a small railhead township situated few kilometers away from the Stillwell Road. Well, viewers, we are at the Lido airfield. And this airfield has a very unique history because it was used by the American Army Air Force during the Second World War, 1944 and 45, to fight with Burma. And this is the complete stretch. Yes, though it looks like a bit dilapidated right now, but then it has got certain prospects of becoming a working airstrip once again. But then a little bit of renovation will make the change. Exactly, because it is believed and said the condition has worsened up because of the 1950 air, the earthquake which happened here in Assam, which was massive by the way. So only the airstrip is still in tech, as she already said, a bit of maintenance and we and are ready to go. And attention by the government will do the trick. Right.
Let's go. Lido is also known as the Coal Queen of Assam. It was also a very strategic point for the air cargoes. The Allies used it as the refueling stations for the cargo planes. During the war, there were around 1 lakh US troops stationed in China. They were all depending on the support from this region. The initial target was to move 10,000 tons of goods in a month, as there were no direct land connectivity with China. The Allies decided to supply these goods through air over the Himalayas. The Air Force designated this air route as the hump. The route through the hump was dangerous as the pilot had to move over the mountains and dense wild forest, an aerial distance of 800 kilometers. The radio navigation system was not reliable at all. The volatile nature of the weather of this region also made it difficult to fly over the hump. The pilots had to cross over three of the great river valleys of the world, Irrawaddy, Selvin and Mekong. The planes were also carrying more aviation fuel than the recommended. This place is the meeting point of border lines of three countries, India, Burma, Yunnan province of China. If the crew went down in the hump region, no search party was sent. Also, the region was under the Japanese occupation. In four years, the Allied had to lose more than 500 cargo planes. In the year 1942, the first mission over the hump took place. Hump deliveries reached a peak of over 7 lakh 30,000 tons by July 1945. It was the river and the valley that contributed a lot to the Burma campaign, leaving a dent in the war history of the world. <laughs> 